Dear Larry, from the moment I found out that I was going to be a big sister, I was so excited. When you were brought home from the hospital, my mind quickly changed. I wanted mom and dad to take you back wherever you came from. I remember so vividly pushing you in my doll's stroller when you were little and lugging you around in my hip as if you were my own little baby doll. As you grew, you took on the annoying little brother role and you played it so well. I can't say that I was innocent. I used to get after you too. With eight years between us, I felt like it was my job to look after you and protect you. If someone was mean to you or picking on you, I'd always be there to come to the rescue. I remember picking you up from elementary school and you'd come running down the hall, ready to tell me all about your day. I remember you needing to show me something just to gain access into my bedroom so you could hang out with me. As years passed, our relationship changed. We drifted apart. When dad passed away in 2011, his tragic passing took a toll on you, took a toll on our family in unmentionable ways. Life was never the same, especially for you. You took it so extremely hard and became so lost. So lost that you never found your way back to yourself. Life kept moving forward and you became stuck. Fixated on dad's traumatic passing and wishing he were here. I tried my hardest to be a motivator in your life, trying to get you to see all the potentials life had to offer you. Many times we sat up late at night talking on the phone. You'd cry and I'd listen and offer advice, advice you often didn't want to hear. And eventually, the more I pushed and tried to help, the more you pulled away. You turned to others who didn't know you, who didn't know the real you, who never ever had your best interests at heart. You see, Larry, true friends don't sit back and watch their friends self-destruct. True friends are a part of the solution, not the problem. And this is when life took another turn. What hurts the most is knowing that there was, this was something that I couldn't rescue you from. You wouldn't let me. And believe me, I tried so many times. <laughs> I wish so much, much that I could have saved you from yourself, Larry. I really do. Life without you is so different and hard. I know I'll see you again one day, but until then, I'll keep all our memories close, all our good memories close to my heart. I hope that you're enjoying spending all your days with dad. And most of all, I hope that you're pain free and I hope that you're happy up there in heaven. I love you and I miss you. Love, sissy.
Thank you.